As some of you may know, uh, the skateboarder named James Hardy died. I don't know what happened or what's the issue or when, how it was in the last couple of days that I got the news, but it didn't say anything about how, um, but I want to at least pay my flowers and respect to him because there's a few things I noticed about James Hardy when he came out. If you guys don't know, he writes, he was writing for Fallen back in the day. Um, I think he was writing for Adidas, I'm sure. Um, I didn't follow him on Instagram, so I don't know. But the one thing I remember, there's three things I really remember about James Hardy. One, he had a super good kickflip. Like this dude has a kick where you boned it and he boned his legs perfectly. Super solid kickflip. Number two, he had a great nollie tray. Like dude can nollie tray and it looked good. You know how some people nollie tray, but it doesn't really pop correctly and they don't really catch all the way. He had a good where he solidly popped it, spun it, caught it, boom, leveled it. And then three, the most thing I noticed about James Hardy is that he had the perfect pants to shoe ratio. What do I mean by that? This dude with the perfect level of just enough pants to go over the shoe top and like cuff the back of the shoe, but not enough to where it's flooding, like where it's way over the top. I know people are like into like, you know, flood pants nowadays, but back in the day, it was slimmer pants, and he literally had the perfect ratio to where it cupped just around the shoe, so it weren't high watering, but it wasn't flooding, you know. And then he just made it look steezy. So that was the thing I noticed. He had the perfect pant to shoe, or I guess leg to pant to shoe, pant to shoe ratio. So you'll see right now. But this dude is good, man. I'm telling you, if you've ever seen his part, this is, in my opinion, his best part. Maybe it's not his best skating, but when I he came out with this and I saw this, this is what made me like James Hardy. So shout out to you, my dude. You know what? We're going to put music on because you know what? Who cares? We're, we're doing music today. I want you guys to hear it. One, two, one, two, three. We turned out a little bit. Look at look now. Look at the pants. Looks like a skater. We find another clip. A great pant to leg ratio. Not too not too baggy. Not too tight like like girl pants. And great style. And he was clean, dude. Super relaxed, chill style. See, look at this. Look at this. See? Proper. Look at that. Cuff right over. Just, just enough. Just enough. See, that's what I'm talking about. Let me go back. Let me show you. Right, watch it after this. When he springs around. That's the pants to cuff ratio. Right here. Right here. You see this? Perfect. It's not hitting the ground. It's not getting torn up. And it's not high watering or flooding. Right there. That's the perfect pants to leg to shoe ratio. Lip side. Kickflip, I think. Look at that. Look at that catch, bro. Look at that catch. Right. See, I told you you had a good kickflip. Remember, I told you? It, like, anybody can kick up this gap, right? But the way he did it was just so good. Like, it was a big gap, too. But look at that. Look at that leg. Look at that. That's be That should have been a photo. That'd been a great photo. Perfect catch, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let it play more. I'm gonna let it play more. Sorry. All right, back five oh, like Suzuki shove, kickflip. Ah, he made me want to be on Fallen. That was probably like one of my favorite clips in this whole part. Just the way it's filmed and the way and the way he caught the big spin. Look at the way he caught it. Look at that. I still, this is, come on, big switch Ollie. That was a big ass Nolly 50. And he floated that mess. And everything's landing on B. Uh, that was a good view. Styles is great. Styles is great. Look at it. slim slim pants, not crazy. That was back in the day when everybody had the shoelace for the uh for your for your belt. But look, perfect, perfect ratio, guys. Perfect ratio for pants to shoe. Clean, just proper. I don't know if that's called fakey hurricane or fakey willy, I don't know. 
tray and the switch tray. And look at that. Hey, look at that spread. Look at that spread. That's that in and out spread. You know, like in and out, in and out the restaurant spread. Look at that catch. Look at that spread right there. Boom. Like, you know, it's proper. Boom. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that switch spread. That's that switch. Fun for catch. Ah, baby. Stop it. Stop it. Mm-hmm. Kickflip. Just, gosh, if I can kick like that, I would just do that everywhere. Look at that perfect, perfect nolly tray. Look how easy to just, just, just waiting for it. 180, fakey flip. Uh. This thing was incredible right here. Back in the day, this was like, dang, fakey? Fakey, blood? Jeez, huge back smooth. It's crazy how like how like style is not determined by like you. It's like you like kind of skate the way you're gonna skate. It's like handwriting. You just kind of write the way you write. And skating, you just have your style. And thank God he has a good style. Kickflip. Uh, Alabama. I'm sure he's probably from there if you're wearing an Alabama shirt. Cap crook. Such a good style. That's crazy to do that. I love fakey bro skating, by the way. Better than Nolly. Butter. Butter on my toast, guys. Butter on my toast. Yep. Yep. James Hardy. Rest in peace.